Hello. I have today a special bike. It's the Specialized Turbo from 2013. And when this bike was released, it was like $6,000. And nowadays it's cheaper available because I think it has battery problems. So I will try to build the battery again or at least fix the BMS and test it again. Okay, I have here the battery from Specialized Turbo. First, when I turn this on, it looks like green, but actually it has a malfunction. So I will open the battery and try to look what's what's in it. The screws were uh, unmounted. It's uh, it's Torx. So this should come out. Let's see how it goes. This is the inside build of the specialized battery. I will check how the cells are and I will also check the electronic. Yeah, that's a lot of time. It's nearly yeah, 9 years, 9 and a half years. Next, I have uh, cut it here the silicone or whatever it was and to remove the BMS connection. I think the battery is still intact but it has some BMS problems but I will check what, what's, what's been going on and eventually I will replace the cells. Remove the four screws of the BMS cover. Um, also by the way the plugs here for battery replacement can be removed. If you pull this out it's really easy to remove those construction and I guess the battery cell replace replacement will be much easier. One more thing to say, those cables here, here and here are actually temperature sensors. Um, you can remove them for dismounting, um, but they don't have a connection so make sure you don't rip them off. More inside of the electronics, here you have the BMS, I think it has also smart functions here, but I'm not very sure. Also here I see a fuse of 40 amps, yeah overall the battery connection here plus and minus, let's see how the process is. After removing those four plastic hex nuts from here and here, you can remove this from here. I will check what's been destroyed or something, but overall it looks good, so it might be a battery issue or something else, I must check further. Here is a detail. This is for um, powering the turbo button and I had to pull this out to disconnect this. The idea is to replace this electronic unit with a BMS, with a regular BMS. Uh, because of those sensors and everything connected to the Turbo Specialized bike, I will replace the controlling unit with a Swiss Hub drive, which could override the regular controller and it allows me to put a normally regulated BMS battery in it. And, um, this thing is only made for a specialized uh, control. 
Next, I have uh, removed the BMS or uh, I think at least it's a BMS from Specialized and um, here you can see also the 40 amp uh, shunt and I will desolder those minus and plus also the battery inputs and minus I will desolder them all and try to fit a regular BMS in it Hi YouTube I'm currently rebuilding the specialized battery for an aftermarket system and I had to take the original BMS out and for the replacement I have here uh, two different BMS's from AliExpress and I must say the polarity of this BMS is not the same as this BMS which means um, in this BMS you have here the plus side and here the minus side and this looks almost the same but it has the reverse polarity here is the minus and here is the plus and for this uh, BMS I need to have this with the plus here because I have measured the specialized battery and it has here the plus side and those are the minus connections okay this is another stage which I have made and as you can see in the pre previous settings I have to connect the ordinary BMS with the discharging port here and I have to make a separate charging port which means you can't use the original um, charging device but um, on another aftermarket uh, charger so let's see how this will work out as next I will uh, remove this power button because uh, the BMS which I'm using is always turned on as you can if you are connecting so I have no use for this button so I will um, screw this out it's, it's, uh, hold, it's holding up with the screw and I will probably make an adapter for a charging port and uh, it will fit okay now this is the connection of the original uh, specialized uh, this is for the battery which will fit into the tube but I have taken out um, to override this with the go swiss drive uh, aftermarket system and this is the plus plus of this um, system of the original system but it's it's black at go swiss drive system and as for the other cable it's black going to the minus going to the brown and the orange one which is also important for controlling the e-bike is um, going gray those are the most important cables and the other ones are for brake and etc I will install those also later uh, but um, I will add the description to the German forum you can check there and this is the go swiss drive and it will work it will work with this with this connection as soon as you put on the battery you can adjust the over the go swiss drive aftermarket system uh, the settings etc and after all it's the cheapest way to fix the issues on those uh, specialized bikes because the original battery is almost thousand dollars and 
in this way I can fix it with much better battery for almost $700 by doing myself and like I said much better performance and it's also uh, makes me less dependent from the specialized system I will fix the issues and I will fix this also the connection and hi again uh, this is the testing part I have connected the battery to the to the port as I said and just for testing you can uh, see the see the supernova light well it functions well and what I want to show you is the Go Swiss drive. Go Swiss and turn on. And here you can adjust power settings for five. Also regenerative braking, etc. Again, I want to show you the power. As, as you can see, this is number three, and as, as soon as I put the pedal on it will work uh, I can't show you because the tire contact is on the floor but I can guarantee you it will work and yeah I will also make a uh, test drive and stay tuned for that okay here is a between step I made here the charging port the fast charging port also it should uh, theoretically being able to connect to another battery to have a wider range so i will connect this to this and after this those connections will go to the battery okay here is the connection again from the inside uh, to the outside I will do this as a secondary battery input or charging port for aftermarket battery and this is like now uh, aftermarket battery and I can use here plus and minus without a specialized sensor and let's see how it goes by the way this is the other uh, BA, uh, battery which I am building this is with the smart BMS so I will try to connect this to this to the specialized uh, e-bike as a second battery let's see okay the turbo battery is finished with the aftermarket plug and I will test it well finally the bike has been finished um, this is the aftermarket battery I have showed you the building process and here you see the display the original display it doesn't work with the aftermarket battery like I did but the go Swiss drive it's working here you can adjust a few things uh, I must also look up for this but those devices are only used available because uh, the company doesn't exist anymore yes unfortunately but you can find used ones and here you can adjust the power setting also the regenerative regeneration I think this can be reset but I'm not sure how to do it I must look up and you can turn the bike off I'm sorry I cannot demonstrate you right now and this this solution does work 100% um, and in my opinion it's it's an expensive bike um, if you want to do it it's very complicated it needs a lot of time so and uh, this is more like do it yourself hobby thing uh, but on the other side if you are buying a new battery 
pack it from Specialized, I believe it's $1,000. And in my case, I can do it much cheaper. And I also I can build here a second battery for uh, more power. And after all, it's up to you if you want to do it. But in my case, I enjoyed. Okay, thanks for tuning in and see you next time.